Today we're going to talk about the powerful and deadly bite of the Doberman Pinscher. Why? Because the Doberman's bite is one of the strongest in the world. First, we're going to talk about exactly how my Doberman Cooper has embarrassed me so many times at the dog park thanks to his incredibly powerful bite. Then we're going to talk about what the exact PSI is in terms of numbers uh, of the Doberman's bite. And lastly, we'll talk about exactly how strong the Doberman's bite is in compared with other dogs and other animals in the animal kingdom. Uh, you might just be amazed as to what animals the Doberman can actually compete with in terms of bite strength. So the way I first figured out that the Dobermans had a really strong, powerful bite was actually by taking my dog Cooper to the dog park. He's embarrassed me so many times at the dog park since then because of his bite strength. And uh, let me tell you why. Let me tell you what happens. So, you know, at a dog park, everybody's throwing their balls for their dog and, and, you know, two or three dogs will chase after the ball and one of them will grab it and bring it back. Well, Dobermans are exceptionally fast dogs. I mean, they can run up to 40 miles an hour. So most dogs he had no problem leaving in the dust. So he'd be the first to get the ball. So he'd go and run and grab the ball and bring it back. And more often than not, they're throwing a tennis ball for their dogs. Well, let me show you. This is what he would bring back. He would just grab the ball and he would crush it and bring it right back to you and hand it sometimes to the owner who just threw the ball. So the owner's sitting there looking at this ball, completely crushed, and he's like, great, well, what am I gonna do with it now? So <laughs> my dog has embarrassed me more times than I can count at, at the dog park with that move of his. Um, so that's what first alerted me to the fact that the Dobermans have an incredibly strong dog bite. So let's talk numbers. Why is my Doberman able to just snap tennis balls like no tomorrow and embarrass me at the dog park? Well, the dog bite strength of a Doberman is about 305 PSI. Now, it has been quoted on the internet in a few places that the Doberman's bite is up to 600 PSI in strength. That's pounds of force per square inch. That, guys, is a myth. That is not accurate. I hate to say it. I'm the biggest proponent of Dobermans that you will find but they cannot apply 600 pounds of pressure per square inch. They have an amazing, amazing dog bite. Their jaw works incredibly efficiently. Their teeth are incredibly uh, perfectly aligned for biting down and causing lots of, uh, lots of pressure and lots of pain but, and, and grip their prey. But it's not 600 PSI. Let's take the Rottweiler, for example. The Rottweiler has a much thicker bone structure, thicker muscle mass, shorter snout. Um, so all... Uh, in terms of anatomy, the Rottweiler should be able to apply significantly more force. Um, but the Rottweiler can only apply about 328 PSI. So it, the 600 PSI number you've heard is a myth. But guys, 305 PSI is a huge number and combine that with the Doberman's speed, the Doberman's uh, uh, teeth structure, their scissor bite, uh, and the way they impact multiple times in a short succession, that is uh, an incredibly powerful bite and um, it can cause a lot of damage. Now the Doberman's dog bite is strong enough that it puts them among the top five dog breeds in the world in terms of strength of their dog bite. Now there's even been reports going around of uh, Doberman, a young healthy Doberman, snapping a grown man's forearm in half with one single bite. Now I haven't seen conf that confirmed and I haven't seen the confirmed case of that, um, but you could see how that would be possible, that kind of strength. Now, how does the Doberman's dog bite strength compare with some of the most powerful dog biters in the world? Well, take the Malinois, for example. That dog has a bite strength of about 195 PSI. The American Pit Bull Terrier, 235 PSI. The German Shepherd, 238 PSI. Then you have the Doberman Pinscher at 305 PSI. And just above the Doberman Pinscher, you have the Rottweiler 
who comes in at 328 PSI. Number three is a Wolf Dog, 406 PSI, followed by the Mastiff, 552 PSI, and last, the Kangle tops off every dog with the world's strongest dog bite at 743 PSI. That is huge. In case you're counting, that puts the Doberman's dog bite as the fifth strongest dog bite in the world. Now, how does that compare to other animals in the animal kingdom besides just dogs? Well, let's go down the list. First, we have the domestic cat, just your, your regular old kitty cat. Has a bite strength of 13 PSI. Next up is you and me, humans. We have a bite strength of about 150 PSI, strong enough to bite into an apple and to bite a few other things, but we ain't gonna compete with the Doberman Pinscher. The average domestic dog has a bite strength of about 269 PSI. Now we're getting to the Doberman Pinschers area, about 305 PSI, but let's keep going. Let's see what other animals have uh, and how close they come with the Doberman. Just above the Doberman, we have the lion at 600 PSI bite strength. Just above the lion, we have the hyena at 1100 PSI. Then let's keep going. Polar bear, 1200 PSI. Bull shark, 1350 PSI. Now the strongest bite of the animal world is a crocodile. And I'm sorry to say the Doberman Pinscher can't even compete with that. 3700 PSI. PSI. I've told you how my dog embarrasses me at the dog park. I've told you why this happens, exactly what their force is of their dog bite. Now let's go a little bit further and let's talk about um, how their bite is actually constructed because it's actually pretty amazing. Okay, you may have heard uh, pit bulls, right? A lot of people say pit bulls have like a lock jaw. They, they hook and they hold on. And I've talked about this before on my channel. Um, Dobermans don't have that, but they do have their own unique way of biting. Now their teeth, their teeth are set up in such a precise way that they interlock with each other and they slide down in between each other as they close. Um, there's very little gaps between the teeth. Uh, and this setup for the teeth structure is called a scissor bite. It allows the teeth to close in and not only slice down, but it also gives them an incredibly strong grip when they're hooking onto something or grabbing onto to anything. Um, so that scissor bite with the, with the, with the close uh, tolerances between the teeth make for, for an amazingly deadly bite. Now, they don't have that lock jaw, which I mentioned earlier, but what they do have is a, a kind of a rapid succession bite where you'll notice, um, like when they're playing with toys and stuff, they'll bite and then they'll let go and they'll bite and they'll let go and they'll do it really fast, like pow, 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 pow. And actually the Doberman can do significant amount of damage over a very broad area. And... So yeah, they don't bite and hook on um, like, uh, like a lock jaw, like a, a pit bull has maybe, which by the way is a myth. Uh, pit bulls don't have, there's no known enzyme or mechanism in the jaw where they actually lock the jaw. But that's for another video. Um, but they do hold on and they don't wanna let go. That's just in their nature. Uh, the Dobermans though, they don't, they don't do that. They just boom over a whole area and cause broad damage over a big, big, big area. It's a lot of fun, in my opinion, talking about what the Doberman is capable of because that gets me really excited about this breed because they are capable of some amazing, amazing feats. But let's, let's be realistic here for a second. Most Dobermans are really kind, gentle souls. And the modern day Doberman, despite what you see on TV and despite what you see in movies, is actually an incredibly caring, gentle, and loving family dog and actually a big cuddle bug. They love to jump up in your lap and cuddle you while you're watching a movie or watching TV or something like that. Yeah, they're big dogs too. They can be like a hundred pounds and then you have a hundred pound animal crawling up in your lap and trying to, to cuddle you and making it hard to breathe. <laughs> but that's, that's the reality of the Doberman. What I described with his bite force and, and how they bite and how they can do a lot of damage. That's all cool stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love learning about it, but don't take that as these dogs are vicious because they're they are absolutely not if you get as excited about the Doberman breed as i do and you love learning about it then hit that subscribe button down below and the bell that comes up next to it and hey while you're here why don't you indulge yourself a little bit and watch some more of my videos you know if you spend some time just sitting back relaxing and watching some of my videos you might actually come out of this uh, pretty decent doberman expert all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it